Well, Josh, a good day for you. Two yeah. goals, but a no more important, you'll say, that was an important victory. Yeah, um, that's the main thing today. I think the full dressing room knew today we had to win um, to stop that losing streak. And um, the longer that goes on, sometimes it can be tough. So, look, we, we, need, we knew we needed to win today. And um, importantly, we did. Um, and hopefully now we can we can push on and start moving up that table. Yeah, I mean, started the game really well. I thought, you know, you were pressing them back. Yeah. And it was your pass to, to Sam that then mm-hmm. won the penalty. But then the responsibility is on you to make yeah. sure you take advantage of that. Yeah, um, we started really well. We knew what they were going to do, um, be aggressive, try and get around second balls. And um, I thought we matched that and we came out on top. And um, thankfully, I think the penalty came at a good time. It obviously settled us down in that first half. And um, yeah, from then on, I think we, we dominated the game, really. I've seen you very confident at penalties. And I've seen you score in different types of ways. This way that was you know, trying to commit the goalkeeper before yeah. you actually pass the ball into the back of the net. I mean, what's the thought process before deciding how you're going to do it? Um, well, I watch the keeper before um, before the games. I do my research and I see what the keeper does. I don't want to give too much away, obviously, but he, like you say, um, I do that and I basically decides what I do. But yeah, um, thankfully today he dove early and gave me an easy decision just to put it in the other corner. Yeah, he wasn't very happy with the little shimmy when mm. you were coming forward, was he? And he got himself booked in the end for it. <laughs> <laughs> no, there's, there's a few keepers that haven't been happy, but I've just got to deal with it. So, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but as you say, you know, a very important first goal. And I suppose at the end of the first half, I suppose the only thing you'd sort of say, we hadn't got the second goal, but five minutes in second half and, and you provided it. Yeah, um, I think whoever scored in that second half, I think it was really important time to score. Because um, the longer that goes on 1-0, I think they start to... Um, maybe get a bit of confidence with 10 men and sometimes it can be difficult because they'll, they'll chuck people forward and they start bit not very organised and all over the place so that 2-0 um, was a bit, was obviously a big goal and I think the save Luke made at, at, at 2-0 when I think it was what the 80th minute I think that's a big save as well because that, that maybe for the last 10 minutes would have caused a bit of, bit of nerves yeah, I suppose two things. I mean, you know, they'd had to make the substitution of the goalkeeper at half time, so a new goalkeeper was in there as well. Yeah. Um, you sort of came in on the right hand side, and then I don't know, it went through a, a lot of bodies as well. Yeah. Top, but you, you took advantage before you'd really had a save to make. Yeah, um, I, I took the shots, took a tiny little nick. I think maybe it took it away from him slightly. But um, yeah, um, when I get around the box, I like to, to get my shots off. So um, yeah, I back myself around the box to, to hit the target and hopefully score goals. Yeah. I suppose the Nigel has, has been talking about the importance, of, you know, of sort of killing sides off, and often when you've dominated a game, you've better side playing against eleven men. Playing against ten men, sometimes that gives a slightly different view of it from your perspective. Yeah, definitely. I think that's that's you've hit the nail on the head. I think it's when when you go when they go down to ten men, sometimes it can be a bit difficult because they they lose a bit of the formation and they chuck people everywhere. So um, I think we we dealt with it well. We were organised, um, apart from that one obviously where they got in, but. I think throughout the game they didn't really offer much much of a threat and I thought we defended really well and got that clean sheet which which has been a long time coming. Obviously we, we, we've talked about it through the week of being defensively solid in the shape and we've done that and yeah, we've, we've, done, we've done well today. Yeah, I was sort of denied about it. I'm sort of saying, you know, he's, he's keeping in games. You know, if you don't concede, even if you're not playing your best, but if you're in games, then just one moment can mean you win it. Yeah, exactly that. Um, I think as a group we've, we're starting to get more of an attacking threat now. Um, we're moving the ball better and getting in good areas. So the more we can keep together as a team and, and stop them scoring goals as a group, um, I think it keeps us in games and gives us a massive chance, yeah. Now you scored two goals. Hat-trick from another penalty. I know you were very vociferous about what you thought was a handball near the end. Um, yeah, I don't, I, I don't want to say too much on it, but he, I, I, I don't, it, it wasn't for the handball. Um, it was what he'd done after it. Um, oh. I thought he should have been sent off, but um, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that to maybe if it needs to be reviewed or whatever, but um, what he'd done, I, I wasn't happy with you. But the victory, you know, we talked about how important today might be. The fans were right behind you from the start, weren't they, in terms of that? But, I mean, from a player's perspective as well, I mean, you know, the manager's changed. The manager's trying to sort of talk about team spirit and the ethic and, and, and building you all up. But, you know, winning the game makes a huge difference. Yeah, the, like you say, the Nigel's obviously come in being really good. Um, as a group, we've, we've took on board what he's saying and um, I think he's given us clear roles and responsibilities of what he wants everyone to do and... Um, off the ball, I think you can see we've got that shape and the structure, um, and then on the ball he gives us as attackers freedom to go and to go and attack. So he's been really good with us, and um, yeah, as long as he as long as he's there, I think um, the club's moving forward in the right direction. Yeah, yeah, and that's the challenge for you all now, isn't it? I mean, you know, yes, it's a great victory today. Yes, everybody goes home happy this evening, but you know you've got to continue that yeah. now. And if you really are going to climb the table, it's got to be week in week out. Yeah, we know that as a group. Um, at the start, the start of the season hasn't been good enough. 
Um, we haven't won enough games, and um, I think last week, like you said, I think we were unlucky. I think we could have got some out of the game, um, but now we need to use that today. Use the confidence come from that, and now we need to start winning, winning games week in, week out. And I think we've got the ability in the group to do that. So yeah, hopefully we do. Top goal scorer last season. You've got four already this season. Now you know. Have you, did you set your sights high before the season started again? You know to improve on last season. Um, not really. I think. Um, I, I think I've said it plenty of times. I, I, I like to think I can get double figures. So um, yeah, hopefully I can get more than last season, and um, I'm on my way to doing that. So yeah, long may continue, and hopefully keep scoring more goals. Are you the oldest member of the front three? There, are you the experience of the side, Josh. I know. If I, <laughs> I forget, I'm nearly 25 soon, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, try and help them through the game, like you say, I think Sam's got Sam's got loads of ability, he's still a young lad, he's still learning, and Charlie's the same, Charlie's still still relatively young, so um, yeah, they both got loads of energy, and you can see us as a front three now, we're pressing with aggression, and um, yeah, I think we can we can keep doing that and um, cause a lot of defensive problems, yeah. And really important, everybody really sticks together, the fans you know, here today and yeah. the away support. I think it's been great this season yeah. already, even though you've not been playing quite so well. But uh, it's got to be a team effort, isn't yeah. it? And, yet, and you do need them. You're going to need them in certain occasions this season. Yeah, exactly that. I think um, they've been brilliant. I think it's easy to say, yeah, they've been brilliant. But um, it, it is tough when we're not winning games. But um, I would say just just stick with us because I think it's a process this season. And um, as long as you stick with us and we can, we can keep winning games and hopefully we can just move up that table, yeah. No, well done today, and the next time we do a post match with you, hopefully the hat trick ball will be in your arms as well. Yeah, hopefully, yeah. Um, like you said, it's the first time I've scored two in a game for Tranmere, so um, hopefully I can get three soon.